start today, we'd just like to thank the publishers and authors who made this story possible for you today in the story time. We encourage you to support them just as much as they're supporting us. Thanks. Hi everybody and welcome to another story time here at Old Municipal Library. My name is Josie and today we are going to be reading Wild About Books. And it is written by Judy Sierra and the pictures are by Mark Brown. It started the summer of 2002 when the Springfield librarian Molly McGrew by mistake drove her book, mile, book mobile into the zoo. Molly opened the door and she let down her stair, turned on the computer, and sat in her chair. At first all the animals watched from a distance, but Molly could conquer the strongest resistance. By reading aloud the good Dr. Zeus, she quickly attracted mink and moose. A wombat, an aurochs, a lemur, a lynx, eight elephant calves, and a family of skinks. In a flash, every, every beast in the zoo was stampeding to learn all about this new something called reading. Forsaking their niche, their nest, and their nook, they went wild, simply wild, about wonderful books. Choosing thin books, and fat books, and cat in the hat books, and new books, and true books, and heaps of how-to books. Giraffes wanted tall books, and crickets craved small books. Well, geckos could only read stick to the wall books. The pandas demanded more Chinese books, books in Chinese. Molly filled their request, eager, eager to please. She even found the waterproof books for otters, who wouldn't go swimming without Harry Potter books. Raccoons read alone, and baboons read in bunches, and llamas read dramas while eating their lunches. Hyenas shared joke books with red belly snakes, and they howled and they hissed till their funny bones ached. A tree kangaroo who adored Nancy Drew began solving mysteries right there at the zoo, such as why, uh, such as why were Barracoot's books overdue? Gently Molly taught lessons in treating books right, for the bow constrictor squeezed Crichter too tight. Baby bunnies mucked up Goodnight Moon with their paws. Giant termites devoured the Wizard of Oz. And Bear's love of books was completely outrageous. They licked all the pictures right off the pages. Tasmanian devil, devils found books so exciting that soon they had given up fighting for writing. They made up adventures so thrilling and new that the others decided author, to be authors too. Pythons wrote books with their tails, penguins read books with their bills, and porcupines wrote books with their own quills. At the new insect zoo, bugs were scribbling haikus and the scorpions gave some stinging reviews. Pretentious and stinky and boring and redundant, said the scorpion. As the cheetah's new novel began to take shape, he read chapters each night to the barberry ape. And though the gazelle couldn't spell very well, like everyone else, he had stories to tell. Imagine the hippo's enormous surprise when, the, when her memoir was given the Zuler Prize. With so many new books, Molly knew what to do. She hired 12 beavers, a snork, and a new to build a branch library there at the zoo. When the animals cried, we can do it ourselves. We can check the books in and out, and we can put them on the shelves. And they did, and they do, up to this very day, Three cheers for Zoo Berry. Hip, hip, hooray. When you visit the zoo now, you surely won't mind if the animals seem just a bit hard to find. They are snug in their niche and their nest and their nook, going wild, simply wild, for about wonderful books.
And that is Wild About Books. Thank you for joining us, and I will see you next time.